Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. As I stated before, I don't know if you watch my email processing system versus the build it all video. If you haven't, um, please be sure to check that video out. And this video is going to be specifically showing you step by step using build it all to create our own custom capture page so you can capture your leads. Then I'm going to show you how to create a, a email list with our email boss autoresponder so that way you can follow up with them then I'm also going to show you how to create um, a sales page then after that I'm also going to show you how to create a, a, a checkout page for them to purchase um, the email processing system and then I'll redirect it to um, the back office with the email processing system so these are some of the things that um, that is uh, necessary for you to grow your particular business um, having a marketing system for you to uh, you know generate leads and more income in your business so with that being said um, before another part form that I created um, a, a sales page okay now we're gonna make one look a little bit we're gonna do what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy the same template basically but I'm just showing you how to <coughs> do it on Builder, okay? Now this time, back in the day, I created a uh, a page with another product called Genius Marketer Pro, okay? Um, I still have access to that, and this is where I have this act, this website that I created. Now this is the old traditional uh, one that you get. So you get to choose from three, two, or two to four different ones, I guess. In the back office now the thing is you have to pay ten dollars if you don't know what you sign up with email processing system um, through the back office through Yaya Incorporated this is the um, site that you get now this site is you know it was the basic that everybody pretty much had and has been promoting okay so what I did I you know created my own little custom thing you know I mean the best looking logo but it is clean and it's my particular website so um, you know, I wanted to brand it myself. So that's one of the cool things uh, when it comes to being able to create your own websites, you can brand your own dang self. So with that being said, let's get into it. Now, my um, capture page is going to look something similar. I like the, you know, I like the effects like this. It's going to be like a little two-step. You know what I mean? They put their, their name and email. Um, it's going to be very similar. Obviously, going to look different because we're promoting something else. But uh, that's pretty much the concept I'm going to have. And uh, let's go. Let's get started. Now, what I'm going to do is go to my my builders. And I'm going to use the drag and drop perfect pixel. Um, I also will go right here on the side. Click that. And go to my sites right there. Okay. Click that. But I'm going to show you since this is a new, uh, this is a new um, face. Um, menu, new menu um, that just been um, created. So, same thing, I'm gonna click on my site. Let's get started with the sales page. I mean, creating a capital page. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so what I should have did is went to new. Okay, I'll click new there, or let me click right here. What says new website? Boom, click that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do. You have all these templates right here, but I love making stuff from scratch, okay? I just love doing it, and you know, click that. So I want this blank layout. Click edit. And I'm going to try to break these videos up. I'm going to have some broken up. All right, now the first thing I want to do is I want to use a box. Click on a box, boom, it's the box I want. And I also am going to want a image. I'm gonna scroll this down. And this right here is the footer. What I also will be doing is having like um, your private policy. Now with the original page, and even down here you have your income disclaimer and whatnot. But like with my site, I did this. Um, income disclaimer and and all that type of stuff 
Now instead, I'm going to have it more like this. Okay, terms of use, private, private, private policy, and disclaimer. I'm going to create those pages as well, so you will see that often. Okay, now, let me go back. Boom. Okay. So this is going to be the box. And I'm going to make a two-step, because I like to stand out. You know, you can make a typical um, uh, capture page where you go down here and you get the opt-in form. So this is right here, like for example, I can use that, but nope, I don't want to do it. That's going to be on the next page. Okay. Trash. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get a button. Okay. Just going to pick any button. Button right there. We want that. Um, also, I want some text. Real quick. So I'm going to choose large. I'm going to choose exit. That's what I'm going to choose. And I'm basically going real quick on the elements that I know I'm going to want. Uh, next thing I want is an image. Okay. So I'm going to go down here. And really, you don't have to click on everything this fast. I'm just doing that because for demonstration purposes for this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this image. So, I'm going to also upload, I don't want these images, upload, and this is going to be my, um, my header. I mean, I could use this logo, but nah, I don't want to. So, the original email processing system. And what I'm also going to do is, uh, while I'm at it, I know I'm going to need this other stuff. No, I'm gonna cancel right now. I'll do that way. Okay. I'm gonna check this and make sure that's checked right there and hit confirm after I upload it. So basically what I did, I hit upload and that automatically redirected to my images and my pictures on my particular computer. Okay. Now you can also get the custom email processing system logo or whatever, you know, straight off of Google. That's what I did. But but eventually I created my own little logo. Okay, bam. Now we have that. What I'm going to do is make my footer better. Excuse me. And put this up there. Boom. Okay, I got it. I don't want to see that message again. And also I'm going to change the background. Okay. So I also have a parallel effect if I want to have an image or something like that. But nope. I'm gonna change the appearance. Click this. I want it like this. I don't want the image. I want to change the color. So the background could be like red or something. So I could even the more colors and if I want to get it more close I could do that also That's cool. I'm going to rock with that. And I'm going to save this color. Okay, okay. Exit out of that. That's how I'm going to rock with that. Then at the bottom, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to hide this right now. And what you also can do is hide the elements and stuff like that. I'm going to hide this button. Just for a sec. And 
I'm going to do is go to appearance and I'm going to colors what I don't want is a background so I'm going to leave it transparent alright and go up on the colors okay boom okay next to I want to go on is the border so I want solid border and I'm a Notch the border up to like seven. Okay, maybe like nine. Ten. What do you do? Ten or nine? Okay, and then I'm gonna change the color. I'm gonna do with the color that I save. Boom. Okay, then I can round the border if I want to. I might go to like six. Seven, we're on a seven frequency, bro. Yeah, and if I wanted to shadow and all that type of stuff, I could do that and you know, get all super fancy, but you ain't got to do all that. I'm just doing this to uh, make it look good. Okay, boom. Okay, cool. That's good. Right there. So now we got that out the way. Yeah. Now see how high everything in here. I'm basically gonna do the same thing with this that I created for another opportunity called Level Rewards. I do have a video showing that as well, how to create um everything. So before, well, let me, write, let me go down here first. Change that pants. Before the bump. So what am I doing right now? I'm going to to the footer at the bottom, okay, and clicking that. And you also want to go down to colors, and I want the same color. So the background color that I chose, that I say, boom. Hit OK and we good. Exit out of that. All right. So later, what I'm going to do is also have the uh, disclaimer and everything like that. Now first, what we want to do is go to appearance. No, we don't want that. I'm sorry. We're going to back add the other elements that I have hidden. So I'm going to add the button and the text. So what we're going to do is click the arrow. For the recovery and they're gonna add that button for recovery all right so then after that I hit that so that uh, menu will go back up so I'm gonna type put some text in here and they just change this up real quick for us meaning that um the way we go about it uh, this menu basically just changed I'm gonna say that for that okay save what remove that so what I'm also gonna do is uh, go back here and this is the uh, new menu and this is basically for like um, your computer or your desktop 
with the H1 that's what that stands for because I chose an Excel title and the H1 is basically your mobile okay they used to have it where it was mobile desktop tablet and mobile but most people don't be on tablets like that anyway so pretty much is everybody using going to be accessing this through their phone all right so but we focus focus on the desktop web website so I want to change the font so I'm going to what I should have did first was boom went like that okay so I also could change it here as well so I'll go to the text uh -uh. Oh, I forgot that's the shadow. See, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, see which one is the center. Okay, I'm gonna save that, and I'm gonna go back here where the T at, you know, like I was showing before, and I'm gonna go here, and I'm going to click the particular font that I want and I want impact that's one of them that I like I just like how bold it is it's weird I don't know why they don't have it uh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah. And this is basically showing how it's going to look. So, I guess I just have to put it uh, on 55. Okay. Looks like that. And then I can do the mobile, but I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, see how, how I got it back? Alright. Now, next thing I'm going to do is change the appearance of the button. And I'm going to change the font. What do I want it to say? No. Uh, so I'm going to change it in the background. And I'm going to change it to what do I want to change? No, I don't want that. But I will do change the borders. Yeah, then we'll go with black. The borders. Okay. So first of all, under borders, I'm gonna hit the solid. I'm gonna do that. Then. Oh, that's cool. That's the number border size I want. Uh, next thing, I'm going to change the border color. I want to save it with that particular one. And do I want it or do I want it black? Okay, I'm leave it black. Hit OK. The border hover color. Yeah, what color do I want? This is another awesome thing you can do as well. Once you hover, you'll see the effects. Um, I have it up. Oh, great. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Um, okay. Oh, I'm going to leave it like that with the border. Now, the next thing I want to check is the color background. That's specifically what I want to. So we're going to change the color background. I hit that. And I'm going to hit this. Okay. Hit OK. And. 
and I'll lock it right in. Oh, come on. The text color, we're going to leave everything as is. But let me go back here to the border. The border color. Yeah, you want black. I don't know why it changed up. So that's what we have so far, okay? Let me go back to the page. I don't know what's going on with this. So obviously, once you get the hang of it, um, it's very awesome. You don't have to be like super. Uh, you don't have to be super like um, I am about it super um perfect or anything like that you just want to create a a simple um opt-in page and a sales page all right and that's the point what well, the point i'm trying to do is uh, i'm trying to show you uh people out there that you can you can do all this yourself all right so i'm gonna go back to order we hit that yeah. I don't know what's going on today okay let me go back here and make it solid ah I don't know what's going on well, we did have some updates with uh, the particular system so that could be one thing but I don't know but anyway uh, we have that I might make the board a little bit better Okay, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. Now we got that. Now I'm going to change my text. I can even make the, uh, everything lighter. Man, I got to go back to appearance. I don't like that hover. So the background color. Okay, we got the background. So that's how I change it like that when I hover over it. Okay, what's we'll it? The gradient no more button right below here. The gradient hover. Now like that. Anyway, we'll go back here and then I'm gonna go to my border and your border color. That's a gray. And I'm gonna palm hit that. Okay, so that's how it's going to look. Or oh, maybe I should do it like this. See, I'm up here all day. See, see how I get created with that? <laughs> I'm a perfectionist, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, now what I'm going to do is change the text. And I'm going to click what I want. Click here to get instant access. Boom. Boom, we got that. Whoop. All right. What I'm going to do is make this button just a little bit bigger. Okay. Bam, voila. Now we have our okay. All right. We 
and also we have grid we have the grids we have high rulers and stuff like that so basically we can uh, perfect our particular page you know what I mean have everything in alignment like we may want to okay so for example I want to get it lined up right here, right? Yeah, that's pretty good there. Maybe. Get lined like that. That's cool. You want to do that? And wow. Oh, there we have it. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to do. the perfections yes indeed so now we have that what we now can do is save the page okay so boom okay so this press yes okay send okay part one now what we're gonna do is here, we're gonna click right here, this tab right here, where it says default, we're gonna click that, and we have our home page. Now what we're gonna do is add another page. Okay, hit that, and well, I want a blank page. You could click here and see what type of opt-in pages they got. So now we don't want that. We're going every, doing everything from scratch. Blank page. Click that. Name the blank page. Now we're going to call it opt in. We'll hit confirm. Now what I'm going to do is add another particular box. Click here with the plus tab. Go down here and go to box. Click that. Boom. You got that. Edge that out. And then we're going to want some text in a little bit. What I should have did, I'm going to go back to the home. And I'm going to do some measuring. Get my perfectionist on. Fine. That way you could kind of get a uh, an idea of what you want to have as far as having you know the box box assembly. Okay, so I'm stretch this out. Okay, now I got that out the way. I'll change appearance. And we're going to go to colors and background color. We don't want a background. Bam. All right, we got that out the way. Now, what we're going to do is go to borders. Now, we want the border solid. And I forgot what I had it by like 10 or something. Or 9. I don't know. Okay. And we're going to hit the color, border color. I'm 
hit that same color. Okay. All right. Round the borders. Get all fancy and stuff. And this get fun, ladies and gentlemen. Once you start to do these over and over again. Okay. Boom. If I want to add that shadow. Enable the shadow. Okay, that's cool. Got the little shadow, whatever. A little cool effect. Boom. Alright. Now, what I'm going to do next is add some. Add the uh, text. And also, I'm going to add the particular auto Add an email form. I'm gonna hit click on it. Click that one right there. Okay. Hit close. And also, I'm gonna add text. Boom. All right. Good. save and that's what I'm going to do is go back here to the T now I selected large so this will be the title H2 right here and this is the desktop and as you can see right here this is the desktop this represents again the mobile and we're editing our particular text and we got a title all right so I'm going to hit that move this over here click right here where it says family plot go straight down to impact that's the one we're choosing bam okay now awesome. make sure that's name okay and I believe I also I'm going to have to add some more tape down there as well. Large, so this is the paragraph. You got your title, your paragraph, and other animated text. So what I'm going to do right here, copy that, I'm going to be lazy, I'm going to copy the same information, we hate spam and promise to keep your email address safe, your information will never be shared or sold by to a third party, okay, so, what I'm going to do is hit the control copy paste or hit the control V, Next thing I'm going to do, I have to say, go back there. And once again, we got a paragraph and we have a medium. So, the font, we can keep that color. And we're going to leave it black. I'll leave that same font. Well, I'll have that bold though. So I want the font and the line height the same. Okay. 
Oh, I don't know. Oops. That's done. First of all, what I did wrong is I want to title. I'm on a title. Now we don't want the title. We want to go to the paragraph. So I have a large paragraph. No wonder. Okay. What did I get me? Um, Okay, ladies and gentlemen, basically, uh, they did a lot of edit updating to this particular uh, platform um, just this week. So, if it seems like I'm kind of thrown off, a little confused, I'm trying to get familiar with this new uh, particular new things and new additions to this particular mint. All right. So, what we're going to do is uh, change the appearance. Okay. And I'm going to hit the wheel. And what I'm going to do is I want to change the label color. I don't want to change that. The form field. Uh, we could do all this particular stuff, but I'm more mostly going to change the button color. I'll go back to that. Style up the button. Boom! Hit that. You want this? Okay. I think we want black. Let me see. Back to the home. Okay, we want it up. Yeah, we want that. And I want to be black. So the background hover. I chose this one. Okay. Change border color. We're gonna go with black. We could change the height and all that type of stuff too, but we ain't gonna do all that. That's pretty much it. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you guys how to and you could change out like the form field and all that type of stuff, the background color and all that, but I'm not gonna do that. This video is already kinda of long. Once I'll change the border color. I'll make it black. What I'm going to do is stretch this out a little bit. Actually, tell you the truth, I'm going to actually even make this a little bit. Well, I'll leave it like that. And as you can see, even with my, I made that smaller. But anyway, we got that done. So the next thing I'm going to do is oh, let me click on that. Make sure everything is lined up for one. Boom, 
save it. Okay, save. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a email list with our particular mailing box autoresponder. All right. So the different ways you go about it, you click here to get access to it, um, access mailing box, or you click this up. You click all the builders at the mid tab, or you click right here. So I'm just going ahead and click it. You know, they can walk you through tutorials and all that. You also go click on this video, this right here, which says tutorials. But I'm going to click access here, and I'm going to create a list right now. Okay, and it's pretty much it for this video. After that, all right. So, create a new subscriber list. Well, I'm going to name it uh, uh, EPS. EPS money. <coughs> um, you can put some description if you want to, but I'm not. I'm just gonna hit continue. All right. Our EPS list. Now, I want to do single opt-in. I'm not doing no double opt-in. You can if you want to. I just like single. I don't like having people jump through the hoops. Okay. Now, you create an email field. Okay. Now, you also want a first name. Okay. So, we want the email and the first name. That's pretty much it. All I want. I don't want all the other stuff. I'm gonna click certain changes. Okay. Now we also do the uh, um, have our welcome email, but I'm just gonna save it next. Okay, my form is successful, and what I want to do is now go back here. I created that pretty quick and I'm going to click this and I'm going to click on figure alright um, but when you first start um, creating this particular like your email list you might go go through more extensive things because especially if you set it up for the first time so anyway I'm going to click this mailing boss and I'm going to click the list that I want EPS money and that's where that's going to be directed to. I'm going to save that. Bang. Okay, save. You got that clear. Okay. It may take five minutes, but really I want the first name, then the email. So I'm going to go back here. And I'm going to. So I'm going to click right here, uh, list custom fields, and what I want to do is sort the order. So I want the name first, then the email, okay? So this is going to be number one, and this is going to be zero. Then I save changes. What this do is this is going to automatically put this text field up above that, all right? I'll click the save changes. Alright, so I can see the first name, then that. First name required? Oh, yeah. I want to make sure that's required. The email automatically is required. Boom. Okay. So, we have that clear. Now, one more thing I'm going to do is, is, uh, Save this again. Okay. Like I said, let me go. I'm going to configure just to make sure. 
Okay, now it's, it's got the first name on it. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to create uh, okay we're going to create the disclaimer page but before we do that um, what I'm going to have to do I'm going to go back to the home page and what I want to do is redirect this particular button to go to my opt-in page that we created so I'm going to click here uh, let's go here Click action. Now we're gonna go to page. Okay, so I'm gonna select page. I'm gonna go to opt-in. I'm gonna hit OK. We're gonna hit save. Now I ain't gonna save it yet. I'm gonna go to opt-in. Well, basically, yeah, I'm gonna save it. But right. <clears throat> so we also want this to. Uh, we want to configure this. Or change the URL, but we don't have um, the particular page that we want to go to yet, which is the sales page, and that's going to be the next video. All right, but I'm still going to save it because I have saved it. Save the home page to go to the opt in page. All right, so now let me go here, <coughs> and before we end this video, we're going to create um, some more pages. So I'm going to click right here, this tab right here, where it says default. I'm going to click add page and I'm going to add legal. Click on legal. Uh, we're going to private privacy. We want disclaimer. Name the page. Yep. We're going to confirm that. Okay. And we're going to add another page. Click that. And we want the legal. Yep. Disclaimer. Private policy. That one. Let me go back and show you. Terms of services, terms of website use, private policy, and the income disclaimer. That's what we do. Okay. <coughs> okay. Confirm that. And then we want one more page. Yeah. Terms of services. Hit confirm. Okay. Now, what I have to do now is fix that up a little bit. Just throw that there. Okay, cool. Save that. Well, I ain't got to save it right now. I'm going to go to the next page. So this is the terms of website. I'm gonna click up here, go to the private policy, you know, configure this. Alright. I'm gonna center this. Okay, cool. Got that. Scroll it down a little bit so they can see everything. Okay. Now the next thing is the disclaimer. See how easy that is. Scroll down here. Okay, now I'm going to save it up. Now, the next thing I have to do is click back on home. Um, I need to create a menu. So down here, down here, as you can see, I have a menu down here, and then I gotta I add the copy your rights reserved. I'm gonna do that real quick as well. Okay. So I'm gonna add a text first. Medium paragraph.
Nice and low. And then what I'm going to have to do is power sleep. make this foot a little bit bigger. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is my lazy stuff. Copy this. Back. Price preserve at the bottom. Okay, control B. Okay, boom, we got that. Now, what I'm going to do now is, real quick, we want to create a main. So I'm going to go back to the plus tab. I didn't mean to make this video real long, but I made a couple changes this recent. Now, we're going to click menu. And I'm just going to click, I'm just going to click something. Okay. Now we have the empty menu right here. Exit out of that. Perfect. Now I'm going to right click the mouse. Now we're going to change appearance. And what we want. So we're going to hit the wheel tab right here. Okay, we're going to change the font. Yeah. First of all, before I do that, my right click before I change the font. Uh, I want to configure. Okay, so the menu is default. What I want to do is click this right here, and what I'm going to do is lay everything out in a particular order. Okay, I don't want the opt in page, I want the home first. So, the way I have it set up here, I have the terms of website use, private policy, and disclaimer. Current TPD. That's how I can remember like that. Okay. All right. We're going to confirm that. Now we have our menu down here. Okay. We got that. Now what we're going to do is go to appearance. So that was real simple, as you see. We got to rename it or something else. Not the font. I'm pretty fine with that. So we get choose a different option. Get y'all better plan with it. This one I'm gonna go with. Okay, anyway. Pretty far. You can change the size and the uh, text and all that. Uh, the menu with. You don't have automatic the menu spacing. I'm pretty fine with that. Uh, separate them. Good. 
you know, go through all that the color of the separator. I'm going to go with black. Okay. All right. The menu text color. I want it to be black. Okay. The Hoover color. I want it to be this. Okay. Select it. I want it to be this. White. Okay. All right. Let's separate it. Okay. Okay. All the submarine stuff and all that. So, say that's weird. fix this menu later on but there you have it ladies and gentlemen because I don't like this menu but basically that's the gist of it that's how you do that now in the next video I'm going to show you how to create a sales page okay then uh, the payment page